ever dreamed of a future where electric cars cost the same as gas-powered ones? Well, it's not just a fantasy anymore thanks to rapidly falling battery prices and advancing electric vehicle technology. Let's have a peek into the EV industry. With battery prices dropping very fast, EV costs are on track to match those of gas cars as early as next year. Now, the cost of an important EV part is dropping, which gives hope that car manufacturers could match prices as they deal with lower demand. According to a recent study by Goldman Sachs analyst, batteries account for around 25 to 33 percent of the cost of building an electric vehicle. They forecast that by 2024, the average cost of batteries for automakers will be about $115 per kilowatt hour, around 23 percent cheaper than last year. They also predict that battery prices will drop another 20 percent in 2025. This drop in battery prices is a big thing. Since batteries are such a significant part of the cost of making electric cars, cheaper batteries mean that the overall price of EVs could come down as well. This is great news for anyone thinking about buying an electric car. As battery costs keep falling, we might see even more affordable electric vehicles coming to the market. This could make EVs a more attractive option for many more people. So if you've been waiting to go electric because of the price, the wait might be over soon. Lower battery prices aren't only good for your wallet, but also a positive step for the environment, making it easier for more people to choose cleaner, greener cars. While these numbers are exciting, it's important to remember what Goldman Sachs is talking about. They're referring to the total cost of owning a car, which includes not just the cost of the vehicle, but also the costs of charging, as well as repairs and maintenance over the car's lifetime. What Goldman Sachs doesn't include in their calculations are government subsidies, like the $7,500 federal tax credit for electric vehicles. This tax credit can lower the overall cost of buying an EV, making it even more affordable. When comparing the cost of electric vehicles, keep in mind that the numbers from Goldman Sachs doesn't account for these potential savings. Once you factor in these incentives, the actual cost of owning an EV could be lower. This means that the dream of owning an electric car might be even closer to reality than it seems, especially with these added financial breaks. Recently, RMI's analysis suggests that the fast rise in electric vehicles in Europe and China means that EV sales could grow at least sixfold by 2030. They predict that by then, electric cars could make up between 62 and 86 percent of all car sales. This rapid growth in EV popularity is driven by several factors. In Europe and China, there's a strong push for cleaner transportation with governments offering incentives and setting ambitious targets for reducing emissions. These regions are also seeing a lot of new electric models coming to the market, making it easier for people to choose EVs. The increased availability of affordable and practical EV options is also a big factor. As more car buyers see the benefits, like lower running costs and environmental advantages, the demand for electric cars is likely to surge. Electric cars are expected to dominate the market in these regions by 2030. This shift could lead to significant changes in the automotive industry with a major focus on EV technology and infrastructure. The United States hasn't set a specific date for stopping the sale of cars with combustion engines. However, California and New York have set 2035 as the deadline. By then, these states plan to only sell zero-emission vehicles. This means that in just over a decade, car buyers in these states will need to choose electric vehicles or other types of zero-emission cars. So, what changes are happening? As we discussed earlier, battery costs make up about 25 to 33 percent of the total cost of a car, so while they are a major factor, they're not the only thing that affects the price. In China, for instance, they've already managed to make electric vehicles cheaper than gas cars because of strong government incentives. The U.S. is likely to follow suit and start offering more affordable EVs soon. As battery prices continue to drop and technology improves, American automakers will be able to bring down the cost of electric cars too.
Another factor is that the growing competition, government incentives, and the dropping prices of lithium and other battery materials are making electric vehicles much more affordable. This growth reflects increasing consumer interest in electric cars and stronger efforts from automakers to provide more affordable and diverse options. Government incentives drive a big part of this increase. The U.S. government offers various tax credits and rebates to encourage people to switch to electric vehicles. These incentives make EVs more attractive and affordable to many buyers. Additionally, more states are setting ambitious goals for zero-emission vehicles, further boosting sales. Globally, the picture is even more impressive. In 2024, it's estimated that about 10 million electric vehicles will be sold worldwide. This is a significant rise from the roughly 7.5 million EVs sold in 2023. The global market is expanding rapidly with strong sales in regions like Europe, China, and parts of Asia. China remains the largest market for electric vehicles with around 5 million EVs expected to be sold this year. This is due to strong government support, a growing charging infrastructure, and increasing consumer demand. The Chinese government has been heavily investing in EV technology and offering subsidies to make electric cars more affordable. Sales of electric vehicles are also on the rise in Europe. The continent is expected to see around 3 million sold in 2024. European countries are leading the way in adopting green technologies and setting strict emission targets which is driving up EV sales. Countries like Norway, the Netherlands and Germany are seeing particularly high growth rates in electric vehicle adoption. Other regions, including parts of Asia and North America, are also contributing to this global growth. Automakers are expanding their EV offerings and investing in local manufacturing and charging infrastructure to meet rising demand. In China, plug-in vehicles like electric and plug-in hybrid cars now make up 47% of the car market. This means almost half of all new cars sold in China are either fully electric. In 2024, China's electric vehicle market is expected to generate an impressive $319 billion in revenue, and the good news doesn't stop there. This market is projected to grow steadily at a rate of 5.69% each year until 2028. By then, the market could reach around $398 billion. This growth shows how quickly electric vehicles are becoming a major part of China's automotive industry. The time is coming when electric vehicles will cost the same as gas-powered ones. What's your opinion on this? Do share your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, then do let us know by hitting that like button, subscribing to our channel for more EV related content, and ring that bell so you're always up to date with the latest news from the EV world. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.